I'm gonna go over here into shapes and I'm going to drag in a shape like this heart right here. I'm going to click and drag by holding shift just like this. I'm going to uh, resize this and I'm going to click control and drag it right here. Control and drag it again. Uh, I'm gonna press control Z. I'm gonna control and drag it over here at the top. Control and drag it over here and control and drag it over here. Let's say I want to align them. So I can select all of them. I can go into the align option right here. I can align all of them to the left and you can see that all of them al align to the left. I'm gonna press control Z. There's other option, align them to the center. Control Z, align them to the right. So you can see that it takes the rightmost shapes, a shape and aligns it over there. Does not align it according to the border right here. So I'm going to press control Z again and I'm going to go over here and align to the top. So it takes the topmost shape, align it, uh, it all over there. And I can also go over here, align it to the middle, just like this. So align it to the middle, aligns it at the center. Align it to the bottom, aligns it to the bottom right there. You can also distribute it horizontally, just like this, and distribute it vertically, just like this as well. So I can go over here. And let's say I want to, uh, relative to the marginal guides, if I were to turn this on, and then it'll be relative to the marginal guide over here. So align left according to the marginal guide, center according to the guide, just like that, right according to the guides. Now you can see that it moves over here on the top, middle, and bottom right here. So you can see that that is how alignment works if relative to the alignment uh, margin guides is actually turned on. So I'm just going to leave that off and I'm going to center align it just like this. So center align it in the middle first and I'm going to distribute it just like that. So I'm going to distribute it horizontally and you can see that uh, the shapes has been aligned uh, properly according to its distance. So that is how we can work with alignment inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.